This is a big week in U.S. politics. The runoffs in Georgia could decide power in the Senate. Looks like a lot of money and influence is being directed at the Peach State. Max Massey explains how and why so much money has been spent. Get this. According to Ad Impact, Georgia Senate candidates and outside groups have spent $480 million on advertising. The idea is that the Senate majority is hanging in the balance, so no check is too big. Business Insider reports campaign spending in the United States has skyrocketed during the last decade, and it continues to break records in 2020 with nine of the 10 most expensive Senate races of all time. All of this is according to Open Secrets. Now, a tight election in November forced a runoff for both of Georgia's Senate seats. David Perdue and Kelly Loeffler are the Republican incumbents up against Democrats John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock in races that have major national implications. If both Democrats win, it'll flip the Senate to blue and give Democrats control of the executive and legislative branches of the government. The $480 million spent on ad placement since Election Day doesn't even factor in all of the other costs that go into a political campaign. These numbers dwarf what's spent on politics in other democracies. Political parties in Canada were capped at spending $29 million last year, according to CBC. But in 2010, the Supreme Court ruled that political spending was protected as a form of free speech. That meant corporations and other outside groups could spend as much money as they wanted as long as they didn't coordinate with campaigns. So in Georgia, about half of the spending on ads is actually coming from the candidates themselves. The rest of the money, that's pouring in from groups across the country. Guys, back to you.